All right, we're gonna watch as this lady breaks down how and why many single women are having trouble finding a quality man. There are single women with no kids who are college educated. Yeah. And they are having trouble finding mates um, because they're like, I'm at this level. Yes. And I'm looking for someone to elevate me and I'm not finding a lot of candidates that are going to meet me or improve me. This is just a case of simple mathematics, right? If you always date up and you have unrealistically high standards, right? You will naturally cut off a lot of the population. So if you're looking, like let's say this is you looking up, you can only go up here, but as you go up, obviously this is gonna, it goes from here, it's, it gets smaller. So as a woman progresses in her own life and her standards are unrealistically high because of social media, movies, music, and so on, just pop culture in general, what happens is the pool of available men for her actually gets smaller. And I think that is what a lot of people are missing. I think and that's an excuse though. There are educated women out there who can who can find good men, but the real question is what they're not gonna tell you is how many successful men that are on their level are above their level that they passed off for silly reasons. That's true. See, that's something they're not gonna tell yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. See, that's Absolutely. what we don't know. We just hear, to the I can't gritty. find nobody, I can't find nobody. But no, what did you, you do to them. run him off? Like, yeah, that's the question. But, but you're not gonna hear, right, but you're not gonna hear how many of those good successful good dudes man is did you turn down? How many did you not give your time to? And that goes back to the unrealistic high expectations or high standards, you know, the whole know your worth movement that is so incredibly unrealistic and idealistic that many women could turn down good dudes, good guys, potential providers and so on. And surprise, surprise, what happens is as women get older, all of a sudden they begin to become so wise, so knowledgeable, so, you know, they, they become so wise and mature that these men that they rejected before are men that they start to give a chance and they see the value in those men. What it is, is that this is everything. It's the setup of the system, making them feel like they don't need a man. It's, you know, the, the nature of how hypergamy relates to corporate boss babe culture and how it pumps into women, you know, you don't need a man, keep doing your thing, keep doing your thing, your progress and your progress and be ruthless in the corporate world. And then they might be ruthless and they progress, but because they were told that, you know, a man is supposed to be an ATM, a bank account and things like that. What happens is now they aren't attracted to the type of man who could be a good guy, but might just be on their same level financially or even below and so on. But we always know what happens in the end. These women always, always, you know, come back to reality where it's like, hey, this is literally, you know, what I would be happy with without all of the noise. And then the same type of guy they rejected before is the type of guy that they want and they're willing to give a chance. But really, the other guy is giving them a chance because the script is flipped because they're not as entitled as they was before, you know? And hopefully, but I don't think this is gonna be the case, hopefully many women wake up to see how this is an issue. They're almost digging their own grave. They're creating their own problems. They're having unrealistic expectations that are gonna be the architect of their own misery. But what will happen is they won't blame themselves. They will blame others because that's how many women who are still in their immature feminine are. They're not able to take accountability and say, I'm in this position be because of me. They will blame others and say, well, there's not enough good men out here. These men ain't this, these men ain't that, blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is. And in the end, men will still get the blame for their own decisions. You know, so if a woman's wise, she would see the timeline of a lot of these women, how they say they don't need a man, they want a man to elevate them, but then also they don't even do the thing to attract those men. They don't want to get in shape. They don't want to learn how to be submissive. They don't want to learn how to co cooperate. 
They don't want to learn how to respect a man. They just think me, 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 me. They don't want to know how to please that guy's needs and to serve his needs. Because if you want a powerful man, yes, you have to serve his needs. They don't want to do that. Um, and then what happens is all of a sudden that resistance and reluctance that they had disappears and dissolves. If I was a woman, I'd look at those women who, you know, I can see the timeline of what they do. And I would say, actually, I see where the timeline ends up and I will, I will be the change. I won't let myself be in those positions, you know, because I don't want to be like those women who are alone. But of course, when you're young and single, you think that you're okay being alone for the rest of your life. But by, by the time you realize that that's not true, what will happen is the available availability of the type of man who can actually elevate you, he's gonna be snapped up because another woman is just gonna say, you know what, I see, I see you, I see your value, and I have no problem doing what I need to do to serve and please your needs. But anyway, I wanna know what you think, right? So comment down below, let Remus know, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.